Hello everyone, I welcome you to yet another exciting episode of Media Voices on Prince Media Television. It has been quite a long time since we uploaded a video on this channel. The channel is growing. At the moment right now we are at uh, 198 subscribers. Let's make the channel grow, let's make the channel grow so that we will hit 1000 or even beyond. In today's program of Media Voices, I want to talk about something interesting. Over the years, we have seen a number of uh, men of God, like they call them, having their fights both in public, on social media, on various platforms, in their churches. One that recently shocked me, the video that we are going to watch, is for one of uh, the pastors in this country, Pastor Isaiah Buga who revealed shocking news on why he left one of his partners, Grace Rubega. Let's watch this video, and I return and I give you my thoughts about this whole issue. You're watching Prince Media Television. You can follow us on our various social media platforms. Facebook, we are Prince TV. YouTube, we are Prince Media Television. And those on TikTok, we are Prince Media Television. It split in 2016. Uh, we had reached about 4,000 people. It split. Uh, the guy who was my assistant uh, got involved with uh, other spiritual entities that I don't subscribe to and started using powers that I don't understand and practices which were really ungodly, including ritual sex for power. So when I confronted him, he was unwilling to repent. So I let him go, but I kept quiet. But today, the people who left with him are coming back one by one to repent because they thought they had gone with the man of God. And me, I chose not to expose him. I said, well, if you're using your, your sight, you go. When you figure out the truth, so it has taken some people seven years to have a turn around. So it's, we suffered a church split in 2016, a major one. We remained with 200 people in the church. That's when God told us to start building the church with 200 people. And we built the church, 200 people. And uh, right now we have about 40 branches. And uh, we are still growing. Mm. We still believe one day we'll have a church here in Nairobi. Amen. Yeah, one day. We, we, I still believe. Nai After watching that video that was extracted from one of the social media platforms, whereby he was being interviewed on why he split with uh, the commonly known the Fanero pastor, Grace Rubega. You listened and heard the reasons he gave as, a, as an individual, as a man of God. Over the years, we have been seeing this whole issue of pastors having infights, both in their churches, in the general public, on social media, and other, in other forms. Now, when such a, a renowned pastor comes out to give his reasons why he split from a fellow pastor who now heads Fanero. It leaves a lot of questions. Take for instance, a few years back, one of the pastors in this country was selling rice, claiming it is holy rice. What does that mean? Many people came out to criticize him Others, there is a pastor who even owns a TV station. He asks his followers to come with a specified amount whenever they are coming for prayers to his church. How do you tell an innocent Ugandan to come with a hundred thousand as in Sigo, like they call it? Where are these men of God? 
taking Ugandans for granted? Why are these men of God taking Ugandans for granted? From some of them asking their followers to bring a specified amount, if not, we don't know whether they are allowed in the church, to others telling their followers to kiss their feet, from others selling holy rice or selling any other items. Why are men of God taking Ugandans for granted? A few weeks ago, one of the biggest media houses in the world, the BBC, produced a documentary titled Faith Under Fire. The information that was put out in that documentary is quite shocking. Why are men of God taking Ugandans for granted? Is it time for government and others throughout the country and other authorities to come and rein in on these men of God? I leave that question to you. After listening to what Pastor uh, uh, Bishop Isaiah Muga revealed on why he left the uh, Pastor Grace Omega, some of the information he put out in the video is shocking on what these men of God do in order to get crowds in their different churches. If you leave pastors aside, a number of uh, priests from the different churches, whether it's from the Anglican side or the Catholic side, many have been accused of being involved in a number of crimes that are shocking to many. A few, a few weeks or months ago, or years, the former Archbishop Stanley Ntagali was accused of infidelity. It led to the intervention of other religious people and other people concerned to make sure this doesn't happen again. A few months ago, the head of one of the big schools in the country, Father Al Ganira, the photos that came out, you saw what happened, how Ugandans reacted. This is the time for men of God to take Ugandans serious. Stop taking Ugandans for granted. Thank you for all those that have been watching today's episode of Media Voices. I'm your host, Deo Gresha Sainitwe. Follow us on Facebook, we are Prince TV. YouTube, we are Prince Media Television. And those on TikTok, we are Prince Media Television. Enjoy your week.